So in the last video we tried to deploy our application and we did it manually uh, running the command uh, yarn deploy and uh, today I want to try to set up uh, automatic deployment uh, on every push to master. Uh, we will use uh, GitHub Actions for that and uh, here um, there is a documentation uh, for a quick start for GitHub Actions. Uh, let's see what they want us to do. Uh, seems it's uh, pretty straightforward. We just need to create this folder in our project and add the file uh, with the um, settings for our deployment. Let's try to do it. So let's create a folder and in the folder uh, we need to create our file for deploy. Here in uh, GitHub uh, Marketplace for Actions we can find an example of uh, what should be in our uh, file, in our actions file. Let's go to main. Uh, let's just copy the example from Marketplace. So what what's here deploy master branch okay um on push branches master okay uh that seems all right here we deploy on the latest ubuntu strategy matrix node version actually i'm not sure about the node version uh, should it be 16 or 14 because here in serverless we use 14 let's try with 16 then steps everything looks all right except the this line so i'll just replace it with aws access key id and aws access key you remember these access keys uh, in the very beginning uh, when you set up your account you created them just to run everything and also here instead of npm ci uh, we need to run actually npm install because we don't have such comment in the package we have only def and deploy so we will just install or we could add the command ci and add it just like like npm install um, but i prefer just directly change it here another thing uh, we have to do here to be able to deploy we need to add our access key id and uh, secret access key uh, to environment variables for our deploy and uh, we can do it in the settings of our repository and here in uh, the secrets uh, tab under security section uh, we should go to actions and uh, here we can add a um, new environment variable so here you add your secret name and here you add the actual uh, value uh, i will not show it of course how to find your access keys if you already set it up locally you can just go to aws and then you can just scroll down and you will see your data so now we added these values uh, let's just amend our commit and let's uh, see what's going to happen this time go to actions and you see another uh, another run okay this is interesting so the funny thing is that uh, our um, serverless app wants us to begin into serverless dashboard and uh, as a workaround to avoid it we can just remove org from here and try to deploy it again And let's see our third run. 
I hope it will be our lucky number and everything is going to be fine. Oh, we got lucky. That's our deploy. It's over. Now we can check if it works here. Should be the same URL. Still works. Another thing we could check is to go to AWS. And to go to CloudFormation. When our stack was updated. And you see it is like a few minutes ago. So our deploy happened successfully. We set up GitHub Actions for our backend project and let's do the same for the front end. And our front end is just a static website, static React app. So what we need to do is just to host it in uh, AWS S3 bucket as a website. Okay, so let's find an action for S3. and see what we can find here. The, the one I would like to use is this one. And uh, let's see if it has an example. So we basically need just to copy our build files to S3 bucket. So let's just um, copy this uh, example. And again, we will create the folder GitHub <clears throat> GitHub workflows. And we'll copy the example. And uh, again, we need to add secrets. So uh, just do the same thing as you did with uh, your backend uh, repository, just add uh, secrets for actions. But here you can see that um, we need not just um, access key and access uh, key ID, but also we need the name of our bucket where, where we will serve our website. To update it. Also source directory should be, in our case, it should be built. Uh, yeah, and uh, now we do not have this uh, directory built, so we need first to build our project. And for this, uh, we will add uh, more steps to our deploy. So here we will add the step with the name yarn install. And we will run the command it can be just yarn then we will add production build and here we will run uh, I decided to use yarn here just to show you that it can be not just npm and let's add the name for our step that copies that copies the files that deploy to s3 and, and let's delete the slash it uses Okay, that's how it should look approximately. So now we have to create the bucket uh, just as usually. Um, let's call it recognition client. And this uh, object ownership uh, ACL should be enabled. So these things I will leave as it is. And another important thing uh, now when we created our bucket, let's go to properties and in the very bottom we have this section. 
static website hosting and we have to enable it and here just add index.html it will be the entry point for your website and that's it so now we add the bucket name to our secrets I actually already added it but I'll do it one more time I think we are good now let's try to push it Let's go to our actions. Okay, there's an error on line 18. Oh yes, I forgot name here. Yeah. And second attempt. Now something is going on. It would be too simple if it works from the first time. But let's see. Now it's not happy because access denied. I think we need to make it public at the end. Let's try. And let's rerun our job. Okay, seems it's ready. So now we can try to access our URL. Here we have it, so we just click it. And you can see our React application is hosted here on AWS. As you see, it uh, tries to access our backend, uh, but the URL is wrong because we don't have any localhost 3009 there. And we need to replace this URL with the URL of the backend uh, that we deployed with this one. And uh, let's do it. Uh, we can do it again using our uh, GitHub actions. In our GitHub workflow file, we need to add our environment variable for URL, but don't repeat my mistake. First, I added it here. And uh, of course, uh, it was wrong because it is a step to deploy and we need this environment variable on this step. So I add it here. And here in secrets, we'll add this URL and now in the code of our application uh, instead of the uh, local host where we call it in API here we want just to use our environment variable and we can default it to the local host so if we have this uh, variable in our environment, we will use the value of it. If we don't have, we will still use a hard-coded value. So let's commit our changes. And then I'll run the build. And let's try it again. And now it works. That's the right, uh, that's the right URL. Uh, but uh, we get this course error because now our client and our backend server are on the different um, domains and uh, course policy doesn't allow them to communicate with each other. And to fix it, we need to add some settings to our backend. We just need to enable course in our serverless file for our 
functions here. And in our responses of our functions, we need to return headers. Access control allow origin. Uh, for our uh, development purposes, we will uh, set it to all. And another header we need to add is allow credentials. And here will be true. So let's copy it over here. So now I pushed it to the master and it will be deployed automatically. Here we can see the progress. So now our deploy is done. Let's restart. And uh, course error is gone. We can see our pictures. We can try even to upload something. Let's find some picture, some image. Okay, me and the parrot, for example. And yes, it's working perfectly. And uh, now we basically have our application deployed. So if you want to show to your friends what you're doing, you can just deploy your um, project and just give a link. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching my video. Leave the comments below if you have any questions or suggestions and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!